one. Okay, so you're now at the point where you're ready to get writing. And I know that you're really well prepared. I know that going through that debate helped you really understand the different pieces and think through different claims, counterclaims, and rebuttals. And so I'm really confident that you're going to be able to do a great job on this. Now, if you're at this point, that means that you've already completed the form inserting source information so you know how you're supposed to insert your source information how you're supposed to wrap it how you're supposed to cite it um, in you know the different paragraphs if you haven't done that stop this video now and go back so this is the prompt um, should school switch to a year-round schooling calendar Write a multi-paragraph response in which you analyze the pros and cons of year-round schooling in your response be sure to include your argument a counter argument and a rebuttal now, this isn't a pro and con essay you're writing. You're going to pick a side. Since it's argumentative, you need an argument, which means you're either going to argue that schools should switch to a year-round schooling calendar or that schools shouldn't switch to a year-round schooling calendar. Now, you can decide which argument you'd like to support. Um, obviously, you were on one side of the debate, and it might be easiest to choose that side since you've looked at the, a lot of the research and the claims for that side. But that's going to be up to you. Um, your first step, though, we're not going to start writing right away. I want you to do a little bit of planning. So, um, you know, in this post, I have that document, which I just showed you. We have an outline. Um, we also have the source link. So those are all of the sources that I gave you for year-round schooling. That doesn't mean you can't still use your own credible sources. Um, but I have, you know, those linked there for you. Um, I also have this handout that I gave you guys when you're working on the debate on wrapping quotes and rebuttal language, just as a quick reference. So what I want you to work on today for step one, I don't want you to, this is the source document, by the way, here are the links to those different um, sources. If you do use an outside source, um, I do want you to link it in here. So you can see I made you a copy. So all you do to link it in here whoops, is you go to insert and you go to link. So all you would do, let's say, you know, you've got a website, you just highlight the um, web address and then you go to insert and then you go to link and you insert the link and then you can name it, you know, source five or whatever you'd like to do. Um, so, but what I want you to work on today is just um, quickly work on the green pieces. So, and this would be a good idea, um, you know, no matter what, here we go, you know, before you write, even if you're, you know, it's a timed writing and you're doing it for air, um, you come up with your thesis and then you could quickly jot down, because you have notebook paper, quickly jot down your claim one, which will be a topic sentence. It's, you know, the, the reason that your argument is, is valid and worthy of consideration. Reason two, and then the counterclaim and rebuttal. So once you have those planned out, you'll be ready to write. Um, most of you will be lucky if you get this far today, but let's say you do, then you can go ahead and start working on uh, writing your multi-paragraph response. Feel free to email me if you've got any questions. Um, we'll be working on this essay for the next few days.